I think I was talked into it uh, originally. Um, I was a helicopter engineer by trade. I lived in Elstree at the time, and my parents got a pub in Elstree. And uh, one particular person used to come in there was Patrick McGurn. And uh, I got on quite well with him, and he said, you're the type of guy who should do stunts. They enjoyed the social life. They'd spend their per diems and all their money and come home skint. I mean, that's how stuntmen, how, how they were in those days. Uh, but they had plenty of nerve. They do, a lot of them would do the dangerous bits and pieces, you know. In the early days, stuntmen didn't want to help my generation that came into the business, they did, because they saw it as a threat. So you had to fend for yourself. Because I was an apprentice at Rolls-Royce and was into helicopters and that, and did my five years engineering-wise, it was nothing. You could come out with ideas that you used to get on a, on a set and look at uh, a layout of what they were doing and saying, well, that ain't going to work. We need to do this. So I came in at that era and I got so much work I couldn't. But of course, that didn't help the situation between the old guys and myself, because they said, how come this bastard is getting all the work and he's, uh, he's only been in the industry five minutes? My ex-partner, Alan Stewart, did a, a car jump in Hong Kong, right? We had a car transporter there with a bus parked here and he goes over, jumps the bus. And he put, <laughs> one year he put that picture of this happening in the stunt book, right? And Eddie Eden, God rest his soul as well, he put the same picture in, in his column <laughs> of the same jump. I'll never forget it. I've still got the, the, that one particular one. It was really getting technical then. Special effects were coming up. And, and I found that you, uh, you'd work more with special effects than the older guys did, because the older guys just didn't do it. It was a busy time, a busy period, the 70s and 80s and, and 90s, really. That was when it all happened. And I'd be away for, like, six, nine months at a time. I worked with Stallone. Uh, I doubled Dolph Lundgren and I, I got into uh, a lot of films like that where I was doubling main actors. And it's time to live a life now. All that running around all over the world, getting paid was nice, I've got to say. But uh, it's a young man's game now, I think. <laughs> <laughs>